Hey everybody, welcome to the farm today. Um, I'm gonna take this old battle axe and try to cut some, some beans with it today. Um, now, take a closer look here, guys. Yeah, that's the wrong battle axe. Now you might be saying, hey, mister, um, you bought that other combine to use so you wouldn't have to use your parts machine. Why are you doing that? Well, it's, I have a field that's not that great. Weather's not that great. My other combine's still pretty great. This one's not that great. So it just all makes sense. Let's hit it. All right. Yeah, here we go. Will it start? Yes. That's the first obstacle. Well, now that the hard part's done, I'm going to dump a little go-go juice in the tank here, dump a little grease in a few spots, blow the uh, rat shit off the exhaust manifold, and we're going to just go out there and give her hell. Okay, guys, got my chase vehicle tied on. Got a tube of grease shoved into various places of this gem. Well, let's go see if this is, uh, let's see if this is uh, retired Ruby's last ride. <laughs> and that's all I can hope for right now.
singing me the song of its people today. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should fix it up. What do you think? It definitely is a good soybean eating machine, I'll say that. Alright guys, let's talk about a couple things. This combine that I've kind of just let sit and go to the wayside and do nothing. Um, you know, she still does a pretty dang amazing job. It is getting me one clean sample. I got a couple pumpkins on the ground. Gosh, it's windy today. Sorry about the wind already. I mean, but you can't change that. Now, the part of this field that I just chopped out of here. Not, not this part, but I mean the whole whoop, where I come up over there. That's exactly 10 acres. I mapped that out earlier. And I've been working this field for a couple years now, so I kind of pay attention to what's what and I know what goes where. So it'd be kind of interesting to see in this 10 acre piece how many bushel per acre this goes. I'm used to, you know, I know some guys are used to consistently having 60 to 70 bushel beans. I'm not that guy. I consistently have 30 to 40 bushel beans. More close to the 30 than 40 usually, but I'm uh, wondering if these might run 50. I don't know. It's 1.30 now. Let's go get my truck. Maybe I can make the elevator before they close tonight. Always nice to have a chase vehicle. All right. Gassed up, the oil's checked. Give her a couple. Yeah, the Michael Jackson. Give her a couple more. Let's uh, let's make a dump and run. Let's do it.
guys. If you want an old piece of junk combine to perform like it never has in its entire life, just leave it out in the rain and snow and uh, you know, neglect it terribly for a year. We won't let you down. Alright guys, I'm going to finish this field up so we can make it to the elevator in time. I got one strip left in that 10 acres. Hope it all fits in the truck. Well guys, I ain't going to get that last strip of this 10 acres in. That old truck is, uh, she's more loaded than I've ever had it I think. So yeah, let's scoot up to the elevator and see what they say. Alright guys, we're right into her. That's all she's got. That's alright. I'd rather get to the elevator in one piece than not get there at all. Just keep on trucking. things here. Gross, 423.3 bushels. Test weight of 57. Foreign material, 0.2, not bad. Moisture, 15.4. That's not bad either. I mean, considering that there's some of these beans are going in as pumpkins. Some of them are going in as really dry. It's not bad. So guys, with that being said, I still got a strip to go here. I'm already at about 42 bushels to the acre. Now, here's the beautiful thing. That part of the field, that's the heavier ground that usually does better. This is the lighter ground. It's got kind of a sandbar that runs right through the whole damn middle of the thing. So, uh, gosh, I'm gonna hope for maybe even 45 to 50 bushel beans out there. But, you know, you know, guys, it is what it is. I'll take what I can get. Sometimes less. So, hey, on that note, the elevator's open for a little while. I'm going to take retired Ruby out and just let her eat beans for the rest of the night. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Let me have a Diablo sandwich, a Dr. Pepper, make it fast. I'm in a goddamn hurry.